was I wrong about this game? Jesus Christ, it's changed since September of last year. So what is up guys? Welcome, it is your boy Stripey Pearl and today, as you can see on the screen, I've managed to get my hands on a beta copy of Project Cars. Holy shit balls. Um what what can I say? This game is ph phenomenal. Um when I first got my hands on it at EGX, it was using the Shift 2 handling model. Now, having played the updated version um, through, you know, obviously uh, having a friend give it to me and whatnot, and let me maybe having another go at this game. Boy, this is one of the best sounding racing games of all time. So you probably noticed in the background of this video, there is no music, there is no nothing. It is just game audio because I want you to hear the roar of this GT3 BMW. Now, I do want to uh, remind you guys, this is not a final build gameplay. This is the beta, so things are going to change. Like, from what I've seen so far, um, comparing it to the E3 build of the game, things have changed significantly um, so thus far. And they're, they're definitely going to change, you know, in the future. So, I'm going to give you a second just to take in the sounds of Project Cars. So, I'm going to go away for about 10 seconds, come back, and uh, you, well, you guys can just see for yourself how amazing this beam sounds. So, yeah, here we go. Okay, now granted, that wasn't a straight where you can just hear the engine, you know, go from gear to gear. But even then, you know, the engine noises are anything... They, they are what Gran Turismo wishes it could be. It is so good. Such a good freaking noise. Then for the gameplay, well, that's fucking improved as well. You can actually play this game with a controller. I believe, you know, at EGX, that was the E3 build of the game. I think they were using the Shift 2 model as kind of a placeholder model. Um, because now, I tell you what, the, with a controller, this game, uh, this game, it's just so responsive. It's so much better than it was in Shift 2. Um, in addition to this, you know, it looks phenomenal. I mean, just look at the game. Um, I was playing this at 60 FPS, but it's obviously going to have to be rendered down to 30 because I'm having some problems with Photoshop. I mean, with Premiere Pro, um, but I, I am playing this at 60 FPS, 1080p or ultra settings, and my computer isn't exactly a godly computer. But look, just look at the reflections, look at the trees, look at the humans, just look how great this game looks. Um, the soundtrack, if you haven't already seen the soundtrack, the soundtrack's absolutely amazing. Um, you know, that, that's not actually on Spotify. Just everything about this game, the damage model, could be improved. I'm sure it will be. Um, but overall, it's probably... It is. A, it, I genuinely believe, and I'm not getting paid to say any of this. Uh, I genuinely believe this could be a Forza killer um, and a Gran Turismo killer. It is that good. It's got a custom livery editor. It's got an extent store, uh, extensive career mode, which I'm not going to delve into quite yet because I want to wait till the full game releases later this week, later this month. Um, I think it's this month or it's next month. But I want to wait till the full game releases. Uh, on, in addition to this, you know. Um, just like overall, you know, it's such a well packaged game and it's still being in, it's still being developed, you know, like it's still being developed and it's still being made f for the full release and things aren't perfect, they're still iron ironing out the bugs, but from, you know, from what I played of this beta, it's absolutely phenomenal, you know, and it, they have the, the, the variety of cars as well, you have anything from an Evo to a GT3 Beamer to a P1 to a 650S to a 650S GT car to a Formula One car to a cart like the the, the level you know the, the 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 scale this game is on is unlike many of the games ever you know simulation wise um I, th I I think it's the extent it goes to to be that perfect simulator it's what makes it so great and I genuinely believe that um that that uh, that, that delay they had was for the better. Um, because the game, honestly, if, if it releases anything like what it is now, obviously fixing the bugs. There is a few bugs here and there. Um, sometimes when you, clip, when you clip the wall, you'll go flying. Um, the game crashes an awful lot on PCs, what I've noticed. 
Uh, you can't really alt tab out the game, otherwise that'll break. Um, so there is quite a few things they do need to fix. I'm not going to lie, the game isn't perfect. Um, I do feel sometimes, especially with some of the uh, starter cars in the career, it's really hard to keep control of it. It feels very slippy, very slidey. Um, Maybe that's part of how the car handles in real life, I don't know, I've never, never seen one or even like driven one because I obviously can't drive it, but I've never seen one in, in real life. Um, so there is a few bugs that they do need to iron out, I'm not going to say this game's perfect because it's not perfect by any means, but is it sh shaping up to be an amazing game? I think if you enjoy your sim races, this is probably going to be the one for you. Um, and if you are still, you know, half-hearted on giving this a chance, I recommend waiting a week, seeing some gameplays, and then getting this bit, this, this, this game because it's honestly that good. I mean, anything just from the sparks coming off the back bumper to the, 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 the how fast you feel you're going. Like, it, it's so extensive. You can even sort out your um, um, field of view settings. Um, you know, from your from your cockpit. As you can see, when I was at the cockpit at the start, it was really zoomed out. That's because I wanted it like that, um, and I, I I could adjust my settings. You know, you, you can do that anywhere. I think overall, it's a, it's a really well made game um, thus far, and I'm really looking forward to seeing how you know Slightly Mad Studios does in the end. Because honestly, at the moment, it's it's just fucking amazing. Um, so well done, honestly, well done for what you've achieved so far. But you know, no slacking now. You got to finish those final bugs. You got to polish the game up. And you release it for the full release, and I'll be there on day one on PC, uh, uh, you know, playing this game. Now, if you are going to buy this game, I do recommend you get it on PC. It's a, it's it, it's kind of a PC built game, really. Um, there's some games which are, which are classed as PC games, some games which are classed as console games. Uh, for example, COD console game, uh, Halo console game, uh, Need for Speed console game. This is a PC game along with Borderlands and whatnot. Um, so yeah, if you are going to do that, you should do that. But anyway. I'm not going to ramble on too much now, I'm just going to let you listen to the absolute amazing sound of this engine before we go off, so yeah, uh, I'll see you guys in tomorrow's video. Make sure to smack the like and subscribe and yeah, peace.